things that narcissistic individuals love to hate within other people. When it comes to narcissists, they, they can admire people because they would like that to benefit themselves in some way. Yet they, they also envy that person because the thing that they admire within the other person criticises the narcissist. It brings out the narcissist's fragile ego and they don't like this. When it comes to a narcissistic individual, they can really latch on to empathetic individuals, caring individuals. It's easy for them to manipulate and exploit these people, use other people's compassion against them so that the narcissist can get their needs met by those people. And they can tend to see it as a sign of weakness, even though it's not. And they will happily turn around and blame the other person when things go wrong. They'll, they'll claim that it was the other person's fault for caring rather than the narcissist's behaviour. Yet they, they also hate empathetic people as empathetic people can, can care about each other, can build those long lasting and trustworthy relationships with others and they're very envious of that and they're, they're quite aware that they can't get that connection which is why they'll often go all out to destroy other people's relationships so that they can feel better about who they are as a person. They can admire assertive people, confident people. Narcissists tend to be some of the most arrogant people you can ever meet, which means they always believe they're right. And if they're wrong, rule one applies, they believe they're right. And they're going to make out that you are the one in the wrong in some way. They can admire assertive, confident people because people are naturally drawn to those with a bit of confidence. And those who have confidence in their own ability, we can often mistake the narcissist's arrogance for confidence. Narcissists, however, they want to be dominant. They want to be in control. So they can arrive at a party. They can sort of not listen to the people that they're speaking to because they're scanning the room for the most important person in the room so that they can latch on to that individual. And then once they do, the narcissist wants to be superior. So they're going to try and bring that person down in some way so that they can be the dominant one. Narcissists tend to latch on to those who are independent, where the narcissist has something to gain, be it financial gain or material gain. A narcissist will latch on to an independent person. However, an independent person is then a threat to the narcissist's fear of abandonment and rejection. So they will go all out through various means such as and starts coercive controlling behaviour, financial abuse, intimidation, isolation, covert sabotage to take the independence away from the other person and it's usually the narcissist that's quite dependent on others because they're dependent on receiving that attention and that appraise and that recognition from those around them. Narcissists will happily latch on to successful people People who are going to make the narcissistic individual look good by association. They envy successful people. They can't tolerate other people getting any attention or praise or recognition. And they go all out to sabotage other people's success. They might like a critical thinker in the beginning when it gives them a bit of a challenge but they don't want to be challenged too much they don't like those who are going to question the narcissist's motives and intentions to a point 
where the narcissist feels like they have to explain or justify themselves to others because they believe they're entitled to do as they please. They can admire humble people as we can all admire a humble person who just does things for the benefit of others rather than themselves. Narcissists are usually envious and they, they can also see someone as being humble as a weakness and they look for ulterior motives and they go all out to spread rumours, to ruin a humble person's reputation, to make that person look bad so that the narcissist can feel better about themselves. People who are secure within who they are as a person, people who are secure with the good side within them and the not so good side within them. We can all have negative traits, we can all have negative qualities and a narcissistic individual, being around a narcissist is going to bring out the worst in you. They're going to bring out those negative qualities within you. So people who are quite secure within themselves and can see both sides to themselves. I believe it was Carl Jung's shadow side. And we do have those sides to us. However, when you're secure with who you are, a narcissist finds it incredibly difficult to manipulate who you are. They find it incredibly difficult to pass the blame on to somebody who isn't going to be guilt tripped quite so easily, who can stand their ground and know what their intentions are. It infuriates a narcissistic person. They like to latch on to secure people. They like to admire them. Narcissists put on that front. So we know within ourselves, when you come across somebody who seems to care, who can be assertive and who is independent and successful and thinks for themselves and has their own opinion and sticks to their own op opinion and seems humble, although with a narcissist it's usually humble bragging and seems quite secure. We can be attracted to those people. We can be admired to those people. We can admire those people, which is all well and good when they're genuine. However, when it's a narcissist with a mask, they're going to destroy you and they can just as easily be attracted to those people. However, what they once admired within those people they were attracted to, their ego can't take it. It criticises who they are as a person. The envy bubbles up in them and they seek to destroy the very qualities that they once claimed to care about within you. Whereas when you're attracted to someone like that, you, you tend to admire those qualities and want to bring the best out in them. A narcissist will go all out to bring the worst out within you. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments with people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People If You Cannot Go No Contact, A Narcissist Handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. They'll be in the description also if you'd like to go and check those out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.